In New Orleans East, community leaders are demanding action from elected officials regarding the area's blighted properties. The group hosted a press conference outside one of the several neglected properties. WGNO's Jordan Lippincott was there. Community members gathered outside of a blighted property on Plaza Drive Sunday to let city leaders know something must be done about this property as well as dozens of other properties in New Orleans East. Do we feel ignored? Yes. Does, this, does this answer your question? The property owner of 6700 Plaza Drive says they have filed a lawsuit against their insurers seeking compensation for the damage the building sustained in Hurricane Zeta and Ida. The property owner also said their plan is to renovate the building once litigation is resolved. But organizers of Sunday's press conference question their intentions. Had we not hosted this conference with the public being informed, that's the, that's the question. But if we really galvanize together and start chopping down that tree, metaphorically, pretty much could do some damage in New Orleans East. The Plaza Drive property isn't the only area coming under fire. About two miles away, two vacant lots on Pirelli Drive aren't only an eyesore. We have rats as big as possum and possum as big as pit bulls um, is a, a quality of life, is a public safety hazard. Community leaders are optimistic they can soon be proud to call New Orleans East home, citing recent beautification projects. So things are starting to look up for us. So this has got to go. So we need to continue that process. And with this gone, developers will basically want to come to our community. Jordan Lippincott, WGNO News. And we reached out to the property insurers for comment and are waiting to hear back. New Orleans City Councilman Oliver Thomas says he will continue to be aggressive in decreasing blighted properties in his district.